Okay, so good evening again, everyone. I want to thank you for being here tonight. I do appreciate it. Um, tonight, I want to talk about, I want to do something a little bit different, I guess. I, I want to talk about whether or not you actually believe a person can trade and make consistent profits in the market. Now, when I meet, say consistent profits, I'm not talking about consistently taking money out of the market every day. I'm talking about consistently seeing growth in your account month over month, year over year, not every single day in the market. How many in here right now kind of have the feeling or the belief that that may not be possible? That it may not be possible for them? Anybody feeling that way? Because I can tell you there was a time in my life when I, I seriously questioned whether it was ever possible to make that happen. So what I wanted to do tonight is I wanna to show you one thing, and this is actionable stuff. I, th there's no sales here tonight. I'm not trying to pump anybody up. You're not gonna see me talk about, you know, um, <laughs> like all these ads I see out there, uh, driving the big fancy car, living in the multi-million dollar house and trying to pump everybody up on how great they are as a trader. Um, I want to I want to be real here, and I want to talk with everyone um, on on the same level. That, I'm on the same level that you are. Okay, I came from the same place you came from. I've been doing this now for 28 years. Okay, I started building houses. I'm a carpenter. Okay, had my own business. So I've been where you are. I've been in that place where I'm so frustrated. I feel like I'm going to, I need to quit. I just, I, that I couldn't solve this riddle. I couldn't seem to get there. But now, after 13 years of trading full time, I know that making consistent profits are possible. And I want to show you a method of that. And it's a very simple method. Anybody can do this. Um, and since we have such a wide spectrum, I want to really take the time to show you how you could take some of this and be actionable with it right away and be able to improve your trading right away and improve your odds in your trading. Does that sound good? Anybody okay with that? And it's something that I show and I use, you know, pretty much every day in my training. I used it today. And so I'm going to jump right into this because one of the things I don't want to just go through a whole bunch of slides. Okay. So this is the only slide you're going to see tonight. We're going to jump right into charts. Okay, now the first thing I want to share with you is most people clog up their charts with way too much information. We spend, we spend so much time trying to make um, too many indicators confirm a trade because we we have a confidence problem in our in our trading right and that's why we do that we load up our charts with all kinds of stuff because we do a webinar we hear about that and we do a webinar and we hear about that and we clog up our charts with way too many things and pretty soon what happens is you kind of suffer well you suffer from what they call analysis paralysis just too much data and too much to try and confirm against. And then you kind of get beat up in the market and your confidence suffers as a result. Well, the chart you're looking at right now, I call it a naked chart. And this is what I trade with, a naked chart. You can see I have volume down there and I draw lines on my chart looking for support, resistance, and trend. And I'll tell you that the majority of my trading comes right from a chart like that. I don't require anyone else's input. I don't require watching the news. And matter of fact, I have Dish, a Dish Network is my television provider. I called them specifically to have the financial news channels removed from my Dish. 
I don't want to have any other influence except what I see in my chart. Price action. If there's one thing you could learn from me is to work to simplify your trading. We can easily all identify trends. We can easily all identify chart patterns if we clean up our charts. Okay, now I'm not suggesting you can't use an indicator, all right? What I'm suggesting is put those indicators on another chart. And first take a look at price action. Price action is one of the most important things. Now, I know it's unfair, okay, because I've been doing this for a long time. When I turn on a chart, I can see every support and resistance level. I can see every line. I can see every chart pattern. And I can do that instantly because I've been doing it so long. Okay? So I looked for a long time for a way to put something together or an indicator that would help people identify what I believe are the most important things in trading. Support, resistance, and trend. Okay, and I found an indicator that does that. Okay, and I'm going to turn it on here in just a second. Now, this indicator is nothing I'm selling. There's nothing fancy about this indicator. Okay, as a matter of fact, it's free on TC2000. If you use TC2000 platform, it's free. We have the code for it that one of our members wrote so that you can add it to your thinkorswim charts, and please feel free to reverse engineer it for any other platform. I think I, someone, uh, one of the members, I think has it has it put together for um, for TradeStation. Um, I don't have that personally, but um, maybe if you ask in the room, somebody has that, okay? So I'm going to show you this indicator now, and before you get too excited about that, one of the things about indicators is everybody gets all caught up in this new shiny thing, right? Like this is the only thing that is going to help me. I want you to understand that any indicator out there, any indicator out there is not a buy-sell signal. There is no indicator that I have ever found in my 28 years that is an accurate indicator of entry and exit. It's just not there. The best indicator you have for trading is price. It always has been price and it always will be price. And if you think about it, it makes sense. Okay, if you think about it, it makes sense. How do you make money? You make money when price moves. But we spend most of our time trying to create a combination of indicators and we never get paid by those indicators. We get paid when price moves. And we spend almost no time studying price. Because we want that easy button. We all do, right? We all want that easy button that's going to tell us, buy this one here. This is the one stock today to make you money. But, but that's a fantasy. That doesn't exist. Okay? So I needed to find, I wanted to find a simple way to do this. Now, I'm giving all this stuff away. Earl, I do not have it. I do not have the code for for this, but I'll give you a link where you can get the TC2000 code. You can ask someone who can do programming uh, for TradeStation and they can feel free to reverse engineer it. Okay. There may be someone here that has it for TradeStation. <clears throat> and if they do, possibly they could post the link for that. So what I am talking, what I'm talking about is an indicator that is called the volatility stop indicator, okay? Now you're gonna look at this and you're going to immediately, um, uh, uh, by the way, just a private message, Jim, yes, I am talking about the volatility stop. I, 
The volatility stop indicator is not a parabolic SAR. It is a average true range indicator. Okay. And I spent more than a year testing this indicator. I ran it through all different time frames, all different scenarios. Now I'm a swing trader most of the time. Okay. I do swing trading of stocks and options. And as I was, there you go. Look at there. Jim's got the indicator for trade station for you. Thank you, Jim. Let me go ahead and post the link for the code for thinkorswim. Okay. So I'm not playing any games here. I'm giving you guys this stuff. All right. Now, what's this indicator do? A lot of people look at this and they say it's parabolic SAR. Again, it's not parabolic SAR. It's, it really doesn't act anything like parabolic SAR. What it does do is, is figure an average true range and it helps you identify support, resistance, and trend. Now, I've set mine up, and by the way, if you use TC2000, here's the setup. You can just take a screenshot of that. Nothing fancy. 10 periods, one and a half times the true range. Okay. And feel free to, you know, manipulate that, that time frame if it works better for you. I can just tell you after over a year of running this, through thousands of trade setups. This worked the best for me. Okay, so you're free to use this and let me explain it to you. The volatility stop indicator helps people see support, resistance, and trend. Now I colored mine green for support and red for resistance, okay? And you can see if you just look at this chart, I mean, this area right in here. Okay, when the stock moved up, found support, it moved on higher, and then it pulled back and consolidated on support. But it, it tripped up, it slipped below support just enough to turn this light on to say this is price resistance. So that's all this indicator is showing you is price, resistance, and trend. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we have quite a few members that um, follow me and, and follow this. Would any of the members out there say that the volatility stop is really uh, willing to say that the volatility stop has truly improved your trading, prevented you from making big mistakes on trades. If you could just post a why, if you agree with that, just so I can, for everyone here that is, is just visiting, this indicator has truly helped a ton of people with their trading and it works on any time frame. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. So the volatility stop, <clears throat> is giving us support, resistance, and trend. Now, let me give you the rules of trading it. Okay? The rules of trading it are really, really simple. Okay? What we want to see is we want to see a stock that is, first off, number one, write this down, number one, stock needs to be in a trend. Okay? So first you need to identify a stock that is trending. Okay. Number two, we wait for the stock to make a move. Okay. It either moves up and pulls back or it moves up or it consolidates and then moves on up. That's a trend. If you look at this trend right here, that's what happens. We move over, we move up, we pull back, we move over, we move up, we pull back. Okay, that's a trend. And what we do is we just wait for the next entry into the trade. So the rules of the trade is if we catch the pullback, 
if we see that pullback, we want to wait for the low risk entry when the stock has pulled back very close to support. We want to buy what we call a low risk entry. That low risk entry means that we can place our stop loss very close and we can have an opportunity to enter that trade with very low risk on the trade following a very mechanical set of rules. Very simple. Anybody can do this. So let me show you a stock that we traded a lot this year <clears throat> that was trending, and that's SQ. Not this, not so much this year. We did trade it this year, but we've been trading it for a couple of years. As you can see, trending, 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 trending. Now, I'm going to pull this back a little bit because I want to see, show you that I do the same thing over and over and over and over. It's the same trade. I've built an, a career on just learning to follow trend. So the rules are, we cross up, we break through a resistance level. We either consolidate and move back to trend, like maybe right over here. So we've moved up, we consolidate, we move back to trend. This line right up here that's drawn on the chart was actually a, an alert, set as an alert to alert me when the stock popped above that line. Okay. Now, the reason I set those alerts is I say this over and over. Just let the trade come to you. Don't chase the trade. Don't try to predict the trade. Just let the trend bring the trade to you. And so by placing this alert, we can get into this position and take good trades over and over and over. <clears throat> if the stock happens to be beneath the red volatility stop, I consider that to be an aggressive entry trade. And if you want to have a high win-loss ratio, I highly recommend you avoid aggressive entry trades most of the time. Hey, we all gamble from time to time, right? We all, we all want to mix it up a little bit every now and then, break a rule here or there, that kind of thing. But if you want to high win-loss ratio, don't break these rules. Red, we're underneath resistance. And if you're looking long, we're underneath this resistance. We wait for red to turn to green. And then we wait for a low risk entry. Okay? So possible if you'd have caught it real quick, you might have caught that one. But I'll tell you honestly, I would not have. But I could have easily got in here. Okay, breaking above that resistance, stock popping through, winning trade. Now you can look through this chart, and I got nothing to hide on this stuff. You look through this chart and you're going to see trade after trade after trade made on the same stock over and over and over, just following the same simple rule and the volatility stop. Red turns to green, wait for the low risk entry. Now, why do I call it a low risk entry? Well, if the volatility stop is showing us support and we could take a position at or near support, then our stop loss can be very, very close to our entry. Okay. Your entry should be, or your, your stop should be below the volatility stop and below the current price action of that pattern. So that we can allow for the stock to retest that support if necessary, but still enter or still get into the position. So for example, we see this move here and we get this pullback into here and we pick up a buy signal here and, the, and we want to buy it. Or perhaps we rushed a little bit and we bought this right here. 
maybe we bought that signal right there. But as long as our stop loss is below that price support, we can actually calculate how much risk we're taking in a trade. Okay, and we can know whether or not that trade is suitable for us based on the risk. Okay, now notice that even though we hopped and popped around here, this never broke support. And then the stock made a really nice move to the upside, another winning trade. Okay, so very, very simple to use and very, very simple to read. Now, what happens in a stock that's downtrending? Can it work in a stock that's downtrending? Let's take a look at like um, Bank of America. Bank of America has been going through some downtrend here. Okay, by the way, these aren't cherry pick stocks. I didn't do this. I didn't go through and cherry pick some stocks to make this look good. I'm just pulling up a stock. We can look at any stock. It doesn't matter. The pattern is going to be the same. Red turns to green. We wait for the low risk entry into the trade. We place an alert on the chart, literally make the trade come to us on every one of these pullbacks. The trade comes to us. We don't chase the trade and we don't predict the trade. Okay. Now this is not a very good example. I thought it would be a little bit better example of, of um, a short trade, but it's really not because there's really only one good short trade set up here on this chart. What we want to do on a short trade is we want, when, when you see the volatility stop flipping back and forth like this, red to green, red to green, red to green, but there's no confirmation of that price support or resistance, avoid those trades. You're in chop. Avoid them altogether. Okay. So if you look right here, there's only one really good chart set up. Green turns to red. Stock falls, rallies back to resistance. We wait for a failure pattern. We wait for a failure pattern. And that would be the failure at resistance and we can take a short trade. Okay, let's take a look at a stock like Intel. I think Intel is going to give us a better downtrend. <clears throat> now Intel has been chopping back and forth as well. Just chopping back and forth, chopping back and forth, not providing really good quality signals. Win, thank you. Let's take a look at win. Win. <clears throat> you can see I've got this all marked up. And by the way, I mark up a lot of charts. <laughs> um, I'm constantly marking up charts uh, for my trading. So let's take a look at this. Clearly, win is downtrending. Remember the number one rule. It's got to be in a downtrend. How do we make a downtrend? We make a lower high. So we confirmed our downtrend right in here. We broke down through support. We rallied back to resistance. You guys see the failure pattern right here? Failure pattern right here. Put on your short trade, adjust your stop loss every single day until you're ready to take profits or this stops you out. Okay, then we start throwing back and forth between red and green, red and green, red and green, nothing. We fall, we rally back to resistance, bearish engulfing pat, um, candle right at resistance. Low risk entry short, follow that trade down. Okay. Follow that trade down. An exit signal T should be a couple of different things. First, it should be part of your trade plan. <clears throat> One of the things that I always do is I trade with a goal. Every trade that I go in has a trade goal. What I'm trying to achieve in that trade. OK, 
okay? Right way options, folks, see me scale out of positions all the time. Stocks moving in my direction, I scale out. I take profits, I put money in my account. I lighten up the, the risk of the trade by taking some profits. I adjust my stop and then I can let the trade work. I will sometimes take trade off in two or three pieces depending on how the chart sets up and lays out. Okay, so now we've shown you on a daily chart how this would work. Would this work on, I know we have some day traders in here. Does this work for a day trade? Yeah, adjust your stop every day. Okay, just adjust your stop every day. So would this work for a, an intraday trader? Well, let me show you an intraday trade that I made on a, it wasn't super, super intraday. I'm not a really big um, day trader at all. I, in fact, I really don't like it. I like to slow a trade down and stick with the position a little bit longer. But let me show you in VXX, we all know the market was falling. So I took a position on VXX and I used a four hour chart to do that. <clears throat> VXX, red, turn to green. Here's my low risk entry into the trade. Nice winning position. <coughs> okay, let's let's speed that up. Can we do that on a faster time frame? Because I know a lot of folks are saying, oh, four hour chart, give me a break. That's not a day trade. Let's look at a five minute chart. Does it work on a five minute chart? Well, I'm seeing a lot of choppiness in through here. Here's a really good downtrend over here where it worked beautifully. In several spots, okay? But it looks like the five minute chart's not really working well with a volatility stop. What I always tell some people is if you're going to make a trade, if you're committed to a position, then find a chart Find a time frame that's going to justify the trade. Okay, so let's look at a different chart. Let's look at a 15 minute chart. Can we find something in a 15 minute chart? Anybody like this 15 minute setup right over here? Red turns to green, low risk entry into the trade. Here's one entry, here's two entries into this nice move high profit position. Okay, does it work? I'd say it does. What about a short trade? Green turns to red. Wait for the low risk entry, the failure pattern at resistance. Winning trade. Okay, it's not that hard to read, is it? We're using the price action of the chart. The volatility stop is showing a support, resistance, and trend. And I want you to notice that all that, all this is showing us is exactly that. The red volatility stop is showing us downtrend. It also showed us right here when we rallied back to price resistance of this consolidation, and then we failed. That's all it's showing us support, resistance, and trend. Again, it's not a buy-sell ind indicator. The price of the, the price action is the indicator, the bearish engulfing candle at resistance. That is the entry signal. Okay. TC2000 doesn't have automatic alerts when it crosses up or down through this. <clears throat> Remember, David, the most important thing, number one, is that the stock must be in a trend. So what you need to do is do your job and find stocks that are trending. And then set this up to alert you. So I do this all the time. If I were looking at this trade right here, I would, had, would have had an alert to try to pick this trade up right in here. Evening star pattern right at price resistance. And all that is is price resistance right there. That's all it is. 
for a nice, simple, easy trade. Let's go one step further. We all know that the market bounced hard today, right? Let's take a short term chart for you guys that are really short term. Let's look at a five minute chart and let's look at the diamonds. Could we have made money with this on the diamonds today? Five minute chart. Here's our morning gap down. We ran on down this morning, rallied up, bounced around in here. Really great entry with a typical pattern that we see in the market, right? A W bottom with a higher low, and there's our entry into the position. It helps you identify the trade, it helps you see the position, and it gives you an opportunity to make the trade come to you instead of you chasing the trade. Okay. Um, at KG, I'll, I can talk about TC2000 anytime. TC2000 is, I think, by far the best charting platform out there for traders like us, retail traders. It's a great and absolutely fantastic tool. I use Thinkorswim for my brokerage. I don't use their charts. Their charts are cumbersome. Their ability to find and scan to find charts, cumbersome at best. And when you think about it, that makes sense. The broker's job is to take you to the market, not provide you with the best tools. TC2000 provides me with great tools, great data, and I think if you ask some of our members, they will credit TC2000 with some of their success because it gets them to the trade now. Okay, if anyone is interested in checking it out, I have a, they gave me a coupon for TC2000 because I did a class on it. In fact, if you go to my YouTube channel, if you go to my YouTube channel, there's an there's a series um, of tutorials. I'm still adding to them on TC2000, so you can see it on my YouTube channel. By the way, here is my YouTube channel, and if you guys would do me a favor, if you would please subscribe, because everything I put over there on YouTube is free. There's no commercials on it. You guys can have full access to everything I do. This will be posted there as well. So please do that. As a matter of fact, I have a link here. Let me give you this. If you don't want to go to YouTube right away to subscribe, just click that link and it will subscribe you to YouTube. Please make sure you click on the bell as well so that you will be notified when I post a, char uh, post a new video. I post a video every single market day. Okay, it's free. Okay, now let's talk about longer term trading. I saw a question pass through there. Do I use the same thing for longer term trading? And the answer is yes, I do. Okay. Um, this year, I took a little more than 10 grand out of Home Depot, a Home Depot trade. So let's take a look at Home Depot and put it on a weekly chart. When I'm looking at trades, okay, when I'm looking for trades on a longer term basis, I'm looking at weekly charts. Can you guys see how this gave me great clues as to when to enter trades in Home Depot? The volatility stop gives you great clues to a trade. Very simple entry positions with very low risk in the trade. Stop loss is close. Okay, we don't have to do any kind of fancy, fancy things. We don't have to predict. We don't have to chase. We mark up a chart, set an alert, and make the trade come to us. Okay, 
everyone that was in right way options knows that we made really good money on Nike this year. Can any of you guys see why? This was the actual alert. This pink line was the actual alert. We caught it here on this last move right there and ran this trade up. Just let the trend move us along. And I want to say I took a, I think it was a hundred, 140% profit using options or something on Nike. Okay. Easy trade. <clears throat> Let me show you a chart that'll just make you cry. It's been around us all the time. By the way, right way options, this green arrow right here, we entered that trade right here. We ended up into a leap option trade. We ended up getting called away on the following August. This was in December 2016. We ended up getting called away the following August on this trade on a gap up on earnings. We made a 99% return on the trade. And then we have traded this several times since in that trade. Take a look at that same stock SQ on a weekly. Can you guys make money with that? Look how simple and easy it is to find the trade and make the trade come to you. Okay, now I could mark this up and give you all kinds of support and resistance and all of those kind of things to show you why that trade was set up for an entry right here. Whoops, set up for an entry right here and right here and right here and right here. But isn't it easier just to let the volatility stop show us where those entries are? We wait for the low risk entry points. Every single one of those that I just marked there was a winning trade. Every one of them. Because we just follow the same trend and the same indicator. No fancy mathematical equations. We don't need to, you know, listen to what anybody else says. As a matter of fact, when we do listen to what anybody else says, we can verify it here, right? We can verify it right here if it makes sense for us to trade it. We have a very specific set of rules, Mike, that we trade using options. Um, tonight's not about that. Um, so, you know, I could, I mean, that's a discussion all in, you know, into itself. Okay. It all depends on the trade, what your intentions are with the trade, whether it's a very quick or a mid, you know, a regular swing trade or whatever, the, the timing of those options. Okay. So it, it all depends on how you set up the trade. So what I wanted to show you is that this indicator can really get you into some very good trades and very good trends. And it's not really that hard to identify. Okay, now let me show you something else here that I think is really important. Would everyone agree that the market's been pretty darn challenging here lately? A lot of high volatility. Um, what we do is two hours every single day, we're talking about trades, laying out trades every single day. And yes, I do share trades. In fact, I share every trade I make. I share everything with members every single trade I make.
Okay, so for sure, everyone agrees it's been kind of choppy, kind of ch tough trading. So let's say you're just a, you use a daily chart to swing trade from. Okay, and if we look at, let's look at the, the SPY. A lot of people look at the SPY chart, SPY, and try to determine whether or not they should trade. Okay, now if you look at the daily SPY, we should be able to identify, even though we had this nice candle here, we should be able to identify this resistance, even though this is green at the moment, that's not really giving us a true green light in the trade, right? Because we're beneath current prices and we're beneath current resistance levels. Okay, so we, we know that this line right here is price resistance. Look where the candle stopped today. We ran through that resistance and then we pulled back to it before the day closed. So is this a chart that we need to be all kinds of fired up about running into or hurrying up into that trade? The answer to that is no. We need what? Red to turn to green and a low risk entry. Right? We need that low risk entry. There's no low risk entry in this trade today on a daily chart. Could we turn this over to a shorter term chart and find a low risk entry though? If we went to, let's say, a four-hour chart, is there a low-risk entry long on the four risk, or on a four-hour chart? No. That half-day chart is showing us all we did was rally back to resistance. We don't go long at resistance. We go long at support. What if we go to an even shorter term? What if we look at a 15 minute? Could we find a long trade in here on a 15 minute trade? Now, I'm not suggesting you need to go down to a 15 minute trade and, and fight the market trying to enter a position, okay? That's not what I'm suggesting. But what I'm suggesting is this tells us when we're up against it or when there's a clear picture ahead. So we can all see red turn to green. The low risk entry was fired off right here. Winning trade on a 15 minute chart. No big trick. How about the short trades? Green turn to red, rally back to resistance, bearish engulfing candle, short trade, short trade. Every time frame, this works in. Okay, so it helps us a big part of trading right and trading correctly is avoiding making mistakes, right? Avoiding making that mistake at buying a stock right before it fails. Anybody ever done that? Anybody ever had this problem where you pick up a position and almost immediately after you buy it, the stock pulls back and you get stopped out of a trade? That used to happen to me so much, I thought there had to be someone watching me. There must have been someone in the market that was specifically, co I mean, specifically um, ordered to just pick on Doug. Because every time I entered a trade, I lost money. It gets that immediate pullback, that immediate punishment. That's a symptom of buying at resistance. No one cares whether you make money or not in the market. It's a symptom of buying at resistance. And here's a great example of that right here in the SPY. SPY pulls back, we turn red. We rally back, everybody starts rushing into the market thinking that this is just another pullback in a great uptrend. There's nothing here to worry about. 
but we never got through that resistance. So there was no long trade here and you can see the result of that. It protected us from getting in when we shouldn't have been. It protected us against that down move, buying it at exactly the wrong time. Okay. The red to green and the green to red, don't over-engineer this, okay? <laughs> don't think you need to do a dot count or anything like that. Remember, all this is doing is showing you support, resistance, and trend. Remind yourself of that every time you look at it. This is support, this is trend, this is resistance. That's all this is doing. So don't do a, a particular dot count or anything like that. What we're looking for is entries that make sense, low risk entries into trades. Okay. Let's take a look at like um, stock by Lily. Okay. Anybody think they could make money in Lily this year? Right way options made really good money in Lily this year. This pink line was our alert into a trade. And if you look back in these charts, there's just those great signals everywhere you look in these trades. If you guys see a pink line, that was an alert of some kind in a trade. I started coloring all of them pink. So anybody looking at my charts could see where my price alerts were. Pretty simple stuff, right? Just following the price action of the chart, following the trend, not trying to be predictive of it. I don't want to predict the market. Because the fact is we can't do that. There's way too many factors. We cannot predict the market. And if anyone is telling you that they can, run, because they're about to get into your wallet. Because you cannot predict. There's too many factors affecting the market. All we can do is learn to follow it as retail traders. And these trades show up over and over and over. And they're not that hard to find. Not that hard to find. Procter & Gamble is a trade this year you can see where i placed my alerts now i did take an aggressive entry on this trade here i took one aggressive entry on that trade but you can see the rest of these were easy i took my final position off i did a multiple contract option trade on this i took my final position off when the stock hit price resistance right here my initial entry was here. I made 140 some percent on that move. Now, trust me with this, guys. If I can do this, you can do this. Is anyone seeing anything here? Is this a little bit refreshing to you that there's hope that you can really start to visualize the chart a little bit better? That you can see what's going on in the chart and put together a good trade plan and start building a little bit of confidence in your trading simply because the chart is giving us those good, clear signals and helping us in that position. Okay. 
So our job as traders is to wait for the good trades. Wait for those good positions that could be setting up right now. Okay, let's take a look at Starbucks. Now Starbucks has a resistance area up here that everyone should be a little bit watchful of. We don't know um, for sure whether or not this is going to uh, be a major problem for us, but there's certainly resistance, whoops, wrong tool. There's certainly resistance in this chart and we need to pay attention to that, right? There's a resistance level right there. Okay. But if we look at the trend in Starbucks, can you guys find entries here into Starbucks? Red turns to green. Wait for the low risk entry. Don't chase this move. Your stop loss is too far away. It's too high a risk. That's an aggressive entry. Wait for the low risk entry. Stock moves up, pulls back, holds support, buy signal. Right on trend, right on the volatility stop. Our stop loss, we can enter that trade with a low risk entry into the position. Okay, so take a look at what's happening today. Move up, consolidating over toward trend. Do you think Starbucks could be setting up for a trade? Do we have to chase into this trade? As a matter of fact, do we have to rush to get into this trade? No, we can wait, right? We can wait for this trade to actually fire by placing an alert above this consolidation and waiting for the trade to come to us. We can plan ahead. We don't have to rush into a trade. We can make the trades literally come to us. Not that hard, right? Pretty simple to see. What if we looked at some simple potential entries that could be setting up? Yeah, that, that one stinks. I'm just running through a list of stocks. How about, how about this one right here? I. This is a potentially actionable trade for you tomorrow. I. Clearly trending, right? Clearly pulling back to trend and support. Now all we need is buyers to step in there and support that price. This is what I do every single day. I find trades like this. I draw a line across here. Make sure it's nice and straight. I decide where I want to be alerted, probably about right there. I'm gonna turn that pink so everybody can see that's a price alert. And I'm gonna set alert on this trade right now. Done. My job on this chart now is finished. I just have to wait for the trade to come to me. Yes, there are earnings coming on 1025. So I probably couldn't take this trade on that because this is gonna report earnings on 1025. But doesn't negate the pattern is setting up. The potential is in this trade. Every single day I find trades like that that have the potential of setting up. Every single day I find trades that have the potential for setting up short. Texas Instruments, definitely downtrending. Big strong rally today. What happens if it fails at he right here at resistance? Pretty simple to trade it, right? I'm happy if you look at a chart, you can look at lots and lots and lots of charts. I, I, um, stocks tend to 
come back to the trend over and over and over. And it doesn't matter if it's an uptrend or a downtrend. If I draw a trend line across the top of these highs, notice it's here where we find failure points. Okay. Yeah, I see right here's where it's gonna where it's indicated to open right now. Indicated to open right there on that little red square or triangle. So you're correct. So when you look at the chart, you can see that support resistance and trend. Now, hopefully, if you guys have any questions here, I you know, we've gone about an hour and I, I don't want to wear, wear you out on this subject, but do you have any questions here that um, relate to the volatility stop? You know, I want you to get this. I want you to be able to use this and actually make some money with it. It's very, very simple. By the way, I'm going to highly recommend. There's a lot of folks that didn't believe me that now believe me on this have one chart that's a white background chart and black and white candles. I know you have the ability to have all kinds of multicolors on your chart. Trust me on this, you will see the patterns much, much easier with a white background chart and black and white candles. Yes, you can scan based on volatility stop. I have a list here and this little green green line here, this is my an, an optionable list. In TC2000, I run this screen right here, the sort of this list that tells me all of these stocks have been in a 20 day trend. The 34 exponential moving average has been trending up 20 days. That's what I'm, that's what I'm interested in. So I can look at that and then I can run this sort right here and find out that all of the stocks that are not only trending in that 20 day trend, but are above the volatility stop. That simple. So take a look at FireEye. FireEye. I'm going to go back here on a weekly chart. This has been in a major downtrend forever and a day. Okay, but look what's happening right now. We've broken through that long-term downtrend, broken through a major resistance area right here, and now we've pulled back to hold the volatility stop and buying is trying to come in here on FireEye. Now, I'm not gonna tell you tomorrow is gonna be a good entry for that. In fact, what I would tell you is there's a really a good chance that this will come back to its trend before it moves up. All we have to do is wait for it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that in here tonight, Tom, um, give you that, that code, but I'll tell you what, if you go to my YouTube channel, and you watch, I think it's video three of the TC2000. It's in the description of the TC2000. There's a PDF, you can just download it free in the in the description of the video, okay? So I, I don't wanna disrupt everything going and looking for it and getting you a link. David, sometimes waiting is too hard. Okay, let me ask you this question. Have you proven to yourself already by your account that not waiting is also hard? That it's breaking your account, that it's killing you one loss at a time. Trading is about discipline. And if you cannot be disciplined to a set of rules, the market will take your money away from you.
Thank you, Ed. Yeah. How much is your, you know, how much is your money worth to you? Are you going to settle down to a set of rules and be disciplined to them or not? Are you just going to let the market continue to take that cash away from you because you refuse to settle down and follow a set of rules? If you want to be successful as a trader, if you want to be here 28 years from now like I have been, you need to get disciplined to a set of rules and follow them. I tell my, uh, my members every once in a while, they'll bring up a trade and I'll say, you know, I'm not going to trade that. It's okay if you want to, but I'm not going to trade it. In fact, I go one step further and said, you can't make me trade it. Because I stick to my rules. I've proven to myself, if I stick to my rules, I consistently make money. Okay, would everyone agree today was kind of a crappy day? I made money today. Okay, now I know there's a lot of questions here. You want a whole bunch of specifics on this. Okay, I don't I don't have enough time to give you through get you through every single piece. So this is what I'm going to do. I wrote an ebook on the volatility stop. I call it Strategy for Consistent Profits. Here's the link. Follow that link. Go download the ebook. It's free. Not going to charge you a thing. Not going to ask you for anything. Go get that. Then go on to my YouTube channel. Here's where I'm going to ask you for something. Go on to my YouTube channel and just subscribe. There's no commercials on my YouTube channel. I don't, I, I don't monetize any of that. I don't try to make money from the training I put on YouTube. It's all free. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow by clicking the bell. Okay, so you get notified. All right, in my YouTube channel, there is a series of videos on that ebook. Okay, we talk about the volatility stop every day. We look at it every day, right way options. Okay, because we make consistent money by just doing simple trades based on simple charts. Now, I did a class um, a couple weeks ago about Hike and Ashy, you know, Hike and Ashy candles. That video is also over there on YouTube, but I get questions about this kind of thing all the time. Well, can I use other charts? Can I use other things? Can I use other indicators with this? Yes. If you want another confirming indicator, fine. Use another confirming indicator. But I'm telling you over and over and over, you're not going to need many of those. If you learn to just follow the rules of this, it works. You make money. And you avoid taking those trades that could really get you quick. You know, when you buy at that resistance, they immediately pull back. So you have a better win-loss ratio right from the get-go, okay? Anybody like WBA? <clears throat> Guys might wanna pay attention to WBA. It's made its move, it's recovered from this little shocking little pullback, now let it rest, consolidate, pull back, wait for the next entry into the trade. Wash, rinse, and repeat. Just keep doing it over and over and over and over. Okay. What do you guys think of Walmart here? Anyone that's in right-way options could um, 
could um, address this for me to confirm that I actually said this. There was a lot of folks, there was a lot of talk about buying Walmart amongst members right in this area. And I told everybody out there, it's a great, it's a great signal, it's an aggressive entry, but I don't think Walmart's ready yet because Walmart hadn't come back to its trend. Look what happened. And this is the thing that used to catch me all the time. I would buy into this area. I would buy into this not knowing I was buying at resistance, not identifying that. And I would have to suffer or get stopped out in this great pullback that occurred. But notice what happened. We moved back to trend. I didn't redraw this line for tonight. Everyone from Right Way Options can tell you that line has been there for a long time. Isn't it amazing? It came back to trend. It rallied. It pulled back. It held trend again, and now we're starting to show improvement. We're starting to show breakout up here and a better price pattern to trade Walmart. Not tough, right? Pretty simple. Apple. Apple directly at price resistance. Now, Apple's going to report earnings on the first of next month, okay? Apple has a tendency of rallying toward earnings, okay? But I can tell you this would be a high-risk entry into this trade. Does anyone have any illusions about the fact that as volatile as the market is, we could wake up tomorrow and the market gap down 200 points? Wouldn't that affect Apple? And where do you place a stop loss on Apple? You can't just make up a stop loss because the market's not going to respect that. Where's support? Support's all the way down here. How many of you are willing to take that much of a risk? About a $15 risk. To support not with my money I don't need to chase a trade because I know I can make winning trades just simply by waiting for the chart to come to me how important is your money to you are you worth fighting a $15 stop? Are you willing to suffer through that? Or would it just be better to not try to pick the bottom or predict the bottom, but to let the chart prove? Break up, pull back, hold support, Volatility stop will be green. Wait for the entry signal to enter that trade. Simple. No guessing, no predicting, no trying to be the hero. Just making consistent money. So I asked the question, is it possible to make consistent money in the market as a trader? I'm going to answer you that question is yes. Rick Sadler, he runs our, our hit and run candlesticks trading room. It's a swing trading room, um, mostly dedicated to, to stocks. This year... Um, he knows I trade options and I started teaching Rick how to trade options. Rick only trades, only trades directional calls and directional puts, meaning he buys a call, he buys a put. That's it. And that's all he does. You can go onto the website and see his results this year. 
following simple trading clues like this, good technical analysis and being patient, he's up over 300% this year in his account. Following simple rules, never being a hero, never trying to pick a bottom, never trying to predict. He trades less than probably a lot of people here in this room, and he makes a lot more money because he buys at the right time by waiting for the trade. Okay. On a weekly chart on Apple, let's look at a weekly chart. A weekly chart will change this dramatically. Yes, weekly chart. Now, here's the thing about the weekly chart, Tex. If you're going to trade the weekly chart, managed by the weekly chart, chart, do not justify a daily chart by looking at the weekly chart. If you're going to buy a weekly pattern, manage the weekly pattern. Okay, so you can see the same thing here. Red, turn to green, wait for the low risk entry. How hard is that to see? Okay, if this were to follow through here, Tex, which requires five days of trading, right, to get a weekly candle finished, follow through. I would say that could be a really good entry for a long-term hold in Apple. Could be. Remember, big earnings report coming up. Everyone get something out of this tonight? I hope you did. I hope you learned something. <clears throat> so do me a favor, please. Go get that ebook. Get that ebook. I'm going to post that link again. Go get that ebook. Watch the videos. Okay, there's the ebook. Watch the videos and develop a set of rules and a plan. Pick a time frame that you're going to trade. I, I'm going to say this, and this might be. Um, might rub someone the wrong way. I don't want it to, but I understand it can. Pick a time frame and trade that time frame. Stop jumping around. Stop jumping around until you can prove to yourself on a single time frame. I don't care what time frame it is that you can make consistent money. Then, if you're making consistent money, think about adding something else. And only then. You don't have to be the jack of all trades because you, you'll, you'll never be able to do that. You won't master any of them. Master a few. And that's all you'll need to build a career. Okay? The volatility stop PDF. I'm going to give you guys that one more time. And if, Jim, if you're here, would you mind posting the volatility stop PDF? for trade station that's for thinkorswim charts it's already on tc2000 okay so you don't have to do anything fancy to do it do anything on tc2000 thank you jim okay if you're interested in tc2000 at all i'm going to give you this link check it out I think it's $274 after the discount for an entire year of charts. Okay, that's one trade. Instead of trying to cobble up your charting system to somewhat work for you, maybe just get a charting system that works really well. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate that a lot. So consider that. You might want to take a look at that. And then please, folks, I don't want to sound like I'm begging, but I'm begging. I'm really trying to build a YouTube channel so that I can get this kind of information to everyone. I don't charge for any of it. 
okay? It's out there for everyone to use. I truly want to help people in their training. Okay? Go there and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click that link, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you, you can get this kind of information all the time. Which, by the way, this will be put on the YouTube channel as well. Okay. Hey, I want to thank everyone for being here tonight. I really do appreciate it. I hope you got something usable out of tonight because that was my goal. My goal here is to say, hey, let's 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 push away all of the baloney and all of the noise and all of the junk that clouds us up in these things. And let's just talk about some real training and real traders and give you some very manageable easy to follow rules for simple trading that just plain works over and over it works okay get disciplined follow a set of rules okay Awesome. Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, Jim, for providing that for TradeStation. I appreciate that. I will leave the room open for just a little bit so that you can scroll back and, and, and grab those links if you need to. Okay. And I want to wish you all a great evening. Don't give up on yourself. Get disciplined. Get focused in your trading. Because trust me, the ability to trade for a living full time is worth all the effort. Redouble your efforts, recommit yourself, and dig into a simple plan. Okay? Sound good? Everyone, take care of yourselves. Be safe. We'll see you all back here. Remember, we do um, public webinars at least twice a month. Feel free to check us out and come on back. We love to help traders improve their trading ability. So everyone take care. We'll talk to you all soon.